Welcome back to Star Wars Timeline. Today I'm reviewing Truce at Bakura. Let's find out together, is it worth a pound of Beskar metal, or should we toss it into Sarlacc's pit? Find out next. Where should I start reading? What is canon versus legends? When does the story begin? The answers to these questions is right here on Star Wars Timeline. Published in November of 1993, True Said Bakura is a Legends novel written by Kathy Tears with cover art by famous Drew Struzan. The story begins literally days after Episode 6, Return of the Jedi, or four years ABY, short for After Battle of Yavin, when the Rebel Alliance intercepts a distress signal from the Imperial Outpost, located on the outskirts of the known regions of space. While Princess Leia plans a diplomatic mission to Bakura, Luke is also pulled to the planet by a strange vision with Obi-Wan Kenobi, who warns him of the dire situation there and the risk of losing everything that the Rebellion has fought for so far. When the Alliance answers the call and arrives at Bakura, the planet is overrun by alien invaders, a cold-blooded reptilian species called Shiruk. Their goal is to secure a staging area for invasion, and they employ a brutal tactic, by capturing prisoners and harvesting their consciousness to pilot an army of invincible machine warriors. Han, Luke and Leia form a loose alliance with their former enemies to confront a new threat, and together after great battles, betrayals and overcoming personal struggles, the heroes finally secure a hard-earned victory and gain new allies with defected Imperial Remnant. I'd like to take a moment and give a huge shout out to Drew Struzan and his awesome cover art. Uh, his work has influenced my love for Star Wars as much as the films themselves. Ralph McQuarrie was the first artist to help visualize the films for George Lucas, but he also paved the way to the visual storytelling aspect of the saga and opened the road to the future generation of artists. And guys like Drew Struzan and David Dorman and Tsuyoshi Nagana are all part of the Star Wars legacy, at least for me. Now, on to the review. It fulfilled all the requirements for me to enjoy the book. It featured the lead cast from the films, it had tons of action and cool space combat, and it smoothly transitioned from the ending of the films, telling a new story that felt like Star Wars. And same is true for the cast. They felt like their film counterparts, which is not a small accomplishment. Luke, the last survivor of Jedi Order, is of great interest to Shirug, and they want to capture him and exploit his talents to ensnare more slaves for their army. It demonstrates a deeper understanding of Yoda's teachings and avoids desperate near-death moments with disciplined mind and greater understanding of the Force. We also see Leia's leadership skills as a talented diplomat, her relationship with Han grows, as well as dealing with complex emotions in regards to Luke's revelation about their father uh, in Return of the Jedi. I felt this scene between Leia and Anakin Skywalker's ghost was the highlight of the book. It added realism to Leia's character, and since the book came out before the prequel movies, it added some interesting insight, revealing some details about the tragic history of Skywalker family. Han is also there at Leia's side, but he's a lot more than just a love interest. Uh, his altruism and big heart are in full display here, and he even attempts a suicide run to save his compatriots. All in all, this book was a great read. While the story doesn't accomplish anything extraordinary, I have a lot of fond memories reading it. This one gets a decent 3.5 out of 4 stars from me. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more Canon and Legends reviews, consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.